they will not seem to improve the speeds well, of the line. What's so hysterical about that is, um, it, like AT and T, one of the worst companies when it comes to putting bandwidth caps on people. Them taking advantage of the fact that you don't really need a cable infrastructure is what allowed them to get into the TV business. They're doing it over their IP pipe. That's why it's called IPTV or whatever. You know, AT and T. What do they call it? I forget what they call it now, but it, it, it's it's not done over a cable line. It's done over an internet line, but it's so they recognize that this provides competition. They just don't want every Joe Schmo competing with them. <laughs> yeah, it's the issue. I think that the biggest lobbyists in the United States, based on public disclosure, which doesn't mean they're the biggest lobbyists, but at least as far as the government knows, I think they or maybe Comcast is number one. I think it was AT and T the last time. Right? Among the uh, tech companies. Well, the other reason to really get on that is um, we're like a hair's breadth away from the average person having enough bandwidth to really run a cable TV station out of their bedroom or their home or whatever. In, in both North America, Europe, um, Australia has the infrastructure, but they have bandwidth caps that make it prohibitive. Uh, but it, more and more, it, it's getting where it, the same revolution with that type of content that we had about a decade ago, you know, anybody could, could make an MP3 or a CD. You know, it, 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 I didn't have to go to the record label to do it. I didn't have to go to a big studio that cost a thousand dollars. I could just do it myself. Uh, and that was fought kicking and screaming for about a decade. You know, the same thing is going on now with video. Basically, you don't need the middleman anymore. You can go direct. And S Certainly, though, if I could just butt in with the infrastructure, the UK is far from ready from a world like that. It's, we have rural uh, areas of the country which are still on effectively dial-up speed. And funnily enough, recently I was away... Uh, up north and I had to tell them my mobile phones I usually do to my uh, netbook and I think from where I was and I was uh, I think I was about uh, I think I was about 10 miles out of Norwich and uh, I was getting equivalent of about 5k a second uh, on when your it phone? Was, yeah, um, through my phone yeah, which normally when I'm around uh, around my, my local area here I can get about 250k a second uh, tethering it so when which is because I use my mobile phone quite a bit for, for tether. I should explain that the HTC uh, is absolutely fantastic for setting up a um, Wi-Fi hotspot and then I'll tether it to my netbook. And when O2, my service provider, goes down, which it invariably does on regular uh, regular occasions, uh, I'll tether up my mobile phone and run it off that. Um, but on this yeah, this particular place I was at, like I say, 4 or 5k a second, and it was a, a nightmare. How on earth we coped in the days of the old uh, 9600 modems, um, I don't know. But uh, <laughs> it's um, how we got anything done, It's uh, it, would be, it amazes me. But um, yes, yeah, so I think the infrastructure in the UK is certainly well away from well away from that type of thing for uh, us. I, I would say more developed areas like London are probably ready for it. But yeah, the same thing in the States. If you get really if you get really rural, yeah, they're they're the bandwidth's not quite there yet. Uh it, we're, we're we're close. It's it's I, just I building mean, that out. Even now in my my landline uh, my ISP, I, I can't get much more than my tethered mobile phone. I maybe maybe pull about 280, 290k a second, uh, which is no good if I'm trying to stream a movie and have the PlayStation 3 on at the same time. Uh, well, it, and, and what you're getting at is the other mentality change that needs to happen. I, I guarantee you by 2020 or 2030, people are not going to think about it. Do I have a phone? Do I have cable? They're going to say, how big is my pipe? Because I know a phone needs 128. I, I know a video stream needs like one megabyte to two megabytes. I, 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 you need bits or whatever. But the, they're going to think about it like that. And they're going to go, okay, my pipe's this big, I have this many things, and they use this much. That mentality isn't there yet. But I guarantee you that's what we're going to switch over to, no matter how many people complain about it. Well, Roy, what's the next topic we've got for today? We got several. Well, we didn't actually have notes of uh, or a script for the show. Uh, just before we we uh, started the show, I just like threw a few things that we can uh, 
um, go through, because I think we might as well say we, we spoke for about an hour and a half before the show, all kinds of stuff. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, but well, very few of those things had anything to do with Linux. But that's a good thing. We basically get to know one another a bit better. So there is the Nokia news, which is also pretty important. Um, Nokia, as we mentioned in a previous uh, show, I think uh, is it the last show or two shows ago, maybe as well. Uh, they are now confirmed to be moving towards a uh, Linux-based operating system for uh, feature phones, uh, and there is an operate there, there is a new team being assembled now to do that, and we know this because of the job advertisements in Nokia. So they actually look for more Linux engineers, which is interesting because maybe they kind of give up on the uh, hope of uh, having anything to do with uh, Windows and phones. Um, well, that's that's obviously good. Uh, I, I I'm sure they'll still have a Windows 8. Yeah, they will have this mango thingy, and uh, they'll probably toss heal up with this uh, mango and whatever, and say go back somewhere. But I I don't know to what extent they've been destroyed from the inside now. Uh, the the do, most do we know if they're gonna base it on Mego or are they gonna just start over? I don't, I don't know. It's it's really strange. Really, it's supposed to be very simple uh, for simple phones, maybe. Uh, the plant has loads of these, and maybe like developing nations or something. Uh, so not one of those with like uh, 3D effects, but but I, I don't see why they wouldn't use something that they had before, and maybe a reduced set of. <clears throat> but but it's it's really shocking though, because they they were supposed to be all kind of moving to Windows and stuff, and I just thought, oh you know they're they've been kind of hijacked by a mall from another company. Um, but I, I, I don't really know the struggles for the team, but I can imagine that there are still some people there from the old Nokia. And they probably, uh, they now can say, look, Microsoft doesn't make any news with Windows, it doesn't do anything, it just sues companies and extorts companies. We don't see anything coming out of the Windows thing. And you hear it even from executives inside Microsoft, they try the, uh, they try this, what, what do they even call it? Like, uh, uh, you know, the plan was to sometime next year to have like a Nokia phone with like Windows on it. And uh, I, I don't really know of any progress done with that. And it's very un it's very non-competitive. I mean, look at Android 4.0 is coming out. You have the uh, iPhone uh, uh, 4S uh, coming out. Was it October, November, or something? Uh, they have pre-sales now, and um, they they have nothing. I mean, look look at look at their platform. They have no applications, almost no applications of use. That there is no reason people will buy those Nokia phones. So. Uh, maybe Nokia is just trying to find a niche of not trying to compete over the smartphones, but just over like the fifty dollar phones that uh, just just have like very basic. Well, and if they're not going to be smartphones, if they're just going to be like basic phones, like you're saying for the third world and so forth, uh, they just couldn't run Windows if they wanted to. Uh, <laughs> so they'd have to use Linux or. What's the other one, Symbian? Symbian, yeah. I think yeah, that, that's really the only two options. But I think the issue with Symbian, though, it's not really maintained in the long run in some ways, because the only company which owned now the whole of Symbian since like 2009 or something, they bought the whole stake. I think they used to own 80% and now the 100%. Um, it's like they had about 3,000 Symbian associated developers, and I think just about all of them have been sacked, so uh, whatever. You know, it's it's a completely misguided strategy, and I think the people who were there before well, that that makes really going forward the only one you want to use Linux then, because yeah, I think the move to me is a bit too light, and they used to say Linux is just going to be for smartphones, and uh, Symbian is going to stay around for feature phones, and now it's just like well, it's smartphones, that's like mm, Windows, you know, and the uh, and, the, and now they say the simple phones are supposed to run Linux when they already had a smartphone operating system called Migo to work with, and, and it makes no sense. I think they still don't know what they want to do, and I think there is no reason that you couldn't produce the complexity of Android to maybe run on more phones and even very small screens, and maybe no screens at all. Uh, so, so I, I, I think I, they don't I, I, I hope what KDE, like what we talked about on the last show, what KDE is trying to do, uh, gets more broadly implemented, because I would love to see true uh, Linux Phones, not not just Android phones, but true Linux phones, really be on the market competing because yeah. almost no one they exist, but almost no one stocks them. Well, there was a yeah, Enlightenment based. Uh, uh, no, it was actually classic Enlightenment. Uh, e16 put in the uh, what's it called, the Open Moco phone at the time, 
And we're talking about 2007, 8, something like that. You had people running them on the phones. And I think that was one of those phones where they kind of say it's a blank slate. You just put whatever you want on it. We give you X server. You give you give you the.